Okay, we're back here live in, in uh, Las Vegas. This is IBM Edge. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon. I'm joined with my co-host. Dave Vellante here from Wikibon.org. Steve Witavich is here. He is the Vice President of Storage and Network Management Software at, at IBM. Woj, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you, thank good, you very much. You, and you did a fantastic job on that last name. Yeah, so. Impressive. So from what I take away from Ambush's keynote and this other, your analyst event was, the conversation's different. The conversation is saying, hey, I am going to propose a business <laughs> solution yes. to you to do yes. something. Salesforce related, retail, whatever vertical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's business value that that's is right. going to drive the client's that's right. business, right? That's if right. it's not, then that's it's right. not a solution. Look, at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, I think that the that's, point that's is that's not. Hey, I'm not going to load up on some drives. Right. That's kind of assumptive. Right. The, you know, IT is enabling business drivers. Right. As you said, you know, the, the, the conversation is changing. No longer is it about, you know, how many IOPS. Now it's about what is your SLA. Right? Yeah. Of that service you want to provide, knowing that the fundamental IT underlying infrastructure, you know the bit heads, we have to figure out what the, you know, improve the IOPS, improve the heat, improve the efficiency, yeah. improve the density of, this, of the storage, you know, be able to scale out, scale up, all those type of things. That's the question I have for you that Dave and I wanted to, to probe, which is, okay, that's a complicated discussion. It is. Because now, <laughs> it's just within the IBM family. Yeah. You go in traversing yeah. uh, different groups, yeah. you know, right. who do you call, I mean, right. you know, and then you got third party multi-vendor, right. now you're talking openness, it's right. open source. Right. I know you guys have open source DNA in the company, so how do, how do you talk about that so optimization? I, to me, optimization is, there's never an end goal. It's always a matter of progressively getting better, right? Because you know, 10 years ago, would anyone have a thought about you know, the, the, the characteristics that we're seeing today with Flash? Probably 10 years from now, there may be something else. I mean, as you saw today, where we were, you know, we're, we're pushing atoms around. Right, I suspect there'll be orders of magnitude above and beyond what we're seeing today with Flash. Even you know we're seeing tremendous leaps forward. Workloads are always needs to be improved in the in the long road and goal towards optimization, workload optimization. And every workload could be different. I mean, if you want to go back and look at you know the the archives of you know the the digs of you know Egypt from 50 years ago, you can go find them, but I mean, you, you, it's not going to be instantaneous, right? But being able to detect fraud in a moment's notice, knowing that you know a, a, um, a shoplifter is in your store, based on facial recognition, knowing the propensities of where they go in the store, you kind of want that right now. So David Floor and I were doing a little back of the napkin the other day on how many copies on average actually get created, yep. and the numbers were pretty <clears throat> astounding. When you think about somebody creates a, a file, and then they email it to somebody, and then they look at it from their yep. laptop, or their device, yep. or their iPad, then they send it on. I mean, yep. it's Reply really, to all is, it, is a fantastic it, thing, it, isn't it? It gets exponential, right? Yeah. It's, I guess it's good if you're selling storage, but it's not good if you're buying storage. Yeah, so. They are trying to manage it, right. But then, then as well, you've got copies in the cloud. Um, That's right. I mean, it's, it's kind of a mess, and so from, from Forgetting even about what do I keep, right? You know, you don't even know what you have, right? So my specific question is, how do you help solve that problem? So, as you said, you know, look at any industry uh, analysts or, or survey that's done. Typically, somewhere between the range of 15 to 20 copies. And we had way more than that, by the way. Well, you, yeah. and I, I suspect that's true for some copies yeah. of some things, right. of some pieces of data. What we're recommending to clients is to to try and figure out how do you implement many of the technologies that exist today. So, you know, I, I, hate to, I hate to say that IT departments and teams are going to become <laughs> irrelevant if they don't catch up, but implementing many of the technologies that exist today, whether it's deduplication, so your example exactly, right? Reply to all with attachments. You don't need to keep 5,000 copies of an attachment of a PowerPoint presentation saying, you know, welcome, right? right? Get rid of all of them. Thin provisioning, deduplication, replication, um, compression, all these things can help you shrink the size of your copy pools, right? The things that you make copies of, the, of your primary storage. One of the things that we're looking at very intensely is, <clears throat> today, when you have a specific workload, you typically take the data, make a copy, and move the data to the application. In the future, we're going to try and reduce the number of copies you need and move the application to the data. Right, so it's the function, baby. Well, <laughs> exactly, right. And and when you talk about cloud, right? I mean, the, the reason people are going to the cloud is they don't want to keep up with the infrastructure. They don't want to manage infrastructure that's growing so fast. They can't, they can't procure the capital expense. So they, they vote for op x, right? So, trying to reduce the number of copies and the type of copies, the number of copies, and what the copies are used for is a really, really important part of how to reduce. So, do you want high availability and failover? 
Do you want near instant recovery for you know, disaster recovery purposes? Do you want to offload it for long-term preservation in an archive to a tape? Or do you want to move it to a, um, another spinning disk for development and test, run your you know, pre-production workloads on? Do analytics? I mean, I suspect everybody's talked about analytics and you know, the, the analytic you know, data-driven management. Yeah, talk more about that, so. Yeah, it, without analytics, it, the, the exponential curve is just not going to stop.